Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a marksman rifle build. You can pretty much one shot any NPC in the game. So uh, let me take you to the pieces first. Okay, so on this build, we're going to be running three pieces of aces of aces and eights. So two pieces gives you 15% marksman rifle damage, and the third piece gives you 30% headshot damage. And on here, I have weapon damage with a headshot damage rolled onto there and a headshot damage gear mod. My, I have my aces of eight pieces are my mask, okay, my glove with headshot damage, and my holster with headshot damage. So as you can see on this build, we're going to be stacking headshot damage. For my um, backpack, I'm running the Air Aldi holding backpack because that gives you 10% marksman rifle damage. And on here, I have weapon handling, headshot damage, and a headshot damage gear mod. The talent is Vigilance. So Vigilance increases total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. I have the chain Walker Harris uh, named chest piece called the Chain Killer. This gives you 5% weapon damage. And on here I have weapon handling, headshot damage, and a headshot damage gear mod. So what's going to give us the damage is the talent on this chest piece, which is, which is called Perfect Headhunter. After killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% of that killing blows damage. Damage is capped to 800% of your weapon damage. This is raised to 1,000 to 150% if your headshot damage is greater than 150%. So what that means is when you kill an, an NPC or an enemy uh, with a headshot, the next headshot damage to the next uh, headshot you hit will be greater. You're pretty much going to keep stacking and the numbers is going to keep increasing as long as you keep hitting those headshots and killing them first time. For the last piece, I'm using the Overlord ornaments uh, named Fox's Prayers Knee Pads. So what's so special about this is that you get damage to target out of cover. And on here, I have Headshot Rolled. Okay. For my skills, I'm using the decoy. So you, so you want to use the decoy and there's a reason for that. And I'm using the assault turret. I like to use the assault turret because it takes the aggro away from uh, it takes the aggro away from you. So when you're in a fight, you can just, you know, you have the decoy already. That's going to take the aggro and you have something else that's going to take the aggro. But if you want, uh, the other skill is completely up to you. You can have a reviver hive, whatever skill you, you want to have in there. Um, but the deco is a must. Okay, for my weapons, I'm running the Mantis. Okay, so this has a talent called In Plain Sight. Your scoped view displays additional information about enemies not targeting you. Headshot and weak points damage against enemies not targeting you amplified by 50%. So what that means is if an enemy is not looking at you or doesn't notice you, you're basically getting a 50% amplified damage which is a lot of uh, extra damage on top of having headhunter proc and vigilance. Okay, so this is why I have the decoy. So headshot kills reset the cooldown of the decoy skill. This bonus will wait until the decoy goes on cooldown if currently active. So say you have the decoy active and you hit the headshot and you kill uh, an enemy with a headshot. Uh, there will be a um, an icon at the bottom that shows a decoy icon and then that means that you can actually deconstruct your decoy or if it goes on cooldown you ba you can basically throw it out straight away so i'll show you that in the shooting range as, a, as an example for my secondary gun i have the mob shotgun with uh, armor and kill and the talent is pummel the three consecutive kills refill the magazine and grants 40 percent weapon damage for 10 seconds i like to use this weapon because just in case i get pushed and you know, you're not running gunner, so you don't get armor on kill. This allows me to have a bit more survivability because I get armor on kill. That's what's so special about the named shotgun, the mop. And also pummel is a pretty strong talent. So you can actually, if you have chain killer on and you, and you do some headshots, you can uh, chain your kills as well. Okay, but it's completely up to you again. You can use whatever shotgun you want or whatever weapon you want. You can use an AR, SMG. It is, it is your choice. For my third gun, I'm using the named pistol called the Orbit. It has perfect finisher, so swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 35% critical hit chance and 40% critical hit damage for 15 seconds. This is a named DZ exclusive pistol. You can get this from conflict caches. You can get this from the Petco caches. So when you go into Petco, you get a currency 
and in the vendor when you buy named items there's a chance for you to get this i've actually gotten it quite a few times without even going in the dz okay so my stats on this build for headshots is a 306 percent okay and um what my specialization that i'm using is the sharpshooter specialization it gives you a few things on the skill tree that are quite useful for sniper builds such as 15% increased headshot damage with rifles and marksman rifles allows for precision kills. You also get 15% increased weapon stability, reduced recoil, and faster requisition of targets. So that means you can hit more headshots, you have better aim. Okay, and actually a good thing about this is the armor kits repair 100%, remove status effect, and increase resistance to bleed, poison, and burn for 20 seconds. Which is pretty nice. I guess it's a good bonus. Um also get all group members that are closer to enemies than you get 10 percent headshot damage you get extra armor gained while in cover you know you'll be in cover as a sniper you're not going to be you're not going to be face to face with the enemies and yeah that's pretty much it so let me just show you the actual how the actual build works um for this build it's i i I'm not too sure. I think you can use it on hero on legendary. I've tried using on legend on legendary. It's a bit of a struggle because you'll have to hit a red first. Honestly, I think you can hit a purple, or you can get the purple close um close to dying if you use the nemesis, the nemesis sniper rifle, because that's way that's much stronger than the mantis. But for heroic content, I think the mantis is a is is good enough. I don't really like the nemesis either because you have to hold in to shoot. So, but yeah, the mantis for heroic is, is, is fun to use. So I'm just going to put this on hard. Okay, so I'm going to chain my kills. Are you, what you kind of want to do is you kind of want to... Look, I'm going to shoot a yellow. Okay, so I have all the buffs active. So they, they're they practically not looking at me because I don't think they consider them as uh, proper enemies that are looking at you. So if I headshot a elite... Okay, it doesn't kill them straight away, but it's quite close, so the second shot will kill them. Um, if I can get a purple. So let's go to medium. Any purples? Okay, so this is a purple. You can pretty much one-shot a purple if they're not looking at you. And can you see at the bottom, I have my decoy. So basically, if I, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you more, but you can see my headhunters procced. So now I think I can headshot an elite. Yeah, so I'm pretty much just stacking this. Okay, so this is what the uh, icon means, okay? So my icon is still there for my uh, decoy. So if I deconstruct my decoy, I'll get it. I'll get it back. Yeah, see, look. I've got it back straight away. So what I'm going to do, just so it's actually more of an accurate testing, is I'll disable skill haste. Because that, that will give you, like, no cooldowns. So I'm going to shoot this enemy and kill him. Okay, so my decoy is back. Okay. So it's out. I'll deconstruct this. Okay, and I have my decoy back again. Because I killed that enemy initially, so it's there. Okay, show another headshot. See, my decoy is back again. So you can wait till the cooldown is gone. And you know you're going to get your decoy back instantly. This is really nice, you know, you've got them taking the aggro, you can always have your decoy out, you just have to make sure you hit your headshots. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much the build, guys. It's a it's a really power it's actually a very powerful build. Um if you can get your chain if you can get your chain killer chained with the headshots, I'm sure it will it'll be useful in legendary, but it's pretty hard. I don't enjoy using a marksman rifle build in legendary. There is another version that I think some speedrunners use, which is uh using the tip of the spear brand set, I think. I think it's the tip of the spear. Uh, yeah, and they use the um, the sharpshooter specialization to like one shot a a chungus or a named boss, which is you need a lot of skill to use that build, and obviously really good teammates with you. But this for just initial, uh, just for having fun on her on normal heroic content is, is is pretty nice. Anyways, guys, please like and subscribe um, to the channel and like this video. If you want to take a look at my other builds, I do have a playlist full of builds. So just take a look through if there's anything that interests you. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And just to remember, we have a new season coming out. So I might do a, um, a just to go through the season, uh, 
season pass like it's like a, just a very short video i don't like doing so many videos all of this thing's gonna come out all of this i just prefer just showing you guys some builds and some maybe other content anyways guys have a wonderful day and peace